Please read this title card before watching the video. Please be advised that I'm not a financial advisor. Any wish to take are your own. Let's get started. This is an exciting one. Folks, welcome back to a brand new episode of Stock of the Day. This is the very, very first on record fully announced Bitcoin mining SPAC. This is really exciting. Ticker GWAC Guac, as we know as the delicious topping that a lot of us like to put on our, our food. Guacamole. So this is going to be an exciting SPAC. I'm really excited to jump into it. These guys are merging with Cypher Mining, a brand new Bitcoin mining company with a lot of power behind it. This is one of those deals that gets really exciting really fast, so we're going to jump into it before, without further ado. So folks, before we start this video, as always, do me a solid. Let's smash the like button. The goal for this video is 15 likes. If you haven't already, do me a favor and subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of videos. These SPACs are all close to NAV. This is a low float SPAC, so you want to be notified about these videos as they come out quickly. If you haven't already, please go ahead and follow me on Twitter as well, or you can ask me any questions in the comment section below. Also, if you'd like to join our trading community, we've got a Patreon, patreon.com slash trading together. Those folks get to see the videos early, get to be notified of watch lists and a lot of other cool stuff that I put out there. So without further ado, let's get started on Guac. Cypher Mining is merging with GoodWorks Acquisition Corporations, aka Guac, and this is their investor presentation, which, which came out March 2021. So this is the team behind GoodWorks. I'm just going to call it Guac for the rest of the video because that's a lot more fun to say. If you've got Fred Ziedman, Doug Worth, and Carrie... Grossman, they've got a lot of experience under their belts and they're ready to rock and roll with this. We've got the Cypher Mining Leadership Team. This is coming out of a bigger company, which we'll discuss in a second. Tyler Page is the gentleman you saw on the title card, and these are the folks that are establishing this brand new mining company, which comes out of the bigger company, Bitfury. Bitfury is this Bitcoin hardware machine company that is out there that produces chips for Bitcoin mining, and they've got a Goliath of a team behind them, and they are the ones who are producing this brand new company called Cypher Mining that Guac is bringing to the New York Stock Exchange. These folks are, Bitfury again is creating this Cypher Mining company, a new Bitcoin mining champion. It's going to be the largest global Bitcoin mining operation by 2025 with 745 megawatts of power. They will have 9% of the global hash rate. Again, this is all by the end of 2025. They will have a very, very low cost of 2.7 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, this is one cent cheaper than Mara, making them, they undercut Mara by one cent. Um, and they're going to be the best in class Bitcoin mining technology infrastructure with 500 plus megawatts of power uh, delivered to date. And they'll have a steady cash flow of 21,000, well, more than 21,000 Bitcoins mined in 2025 alone. Go and break down this deal here. This folks are very smart. I will talk about a lot of different stuff that they took into account for Bitcoin. They ran a lot of base cases because Bitcoin is a is an asset that fluctuates in value. They evaluated Bitcoin between 25k and 100k base studies. So they did that a lot, which was really cool. So you'll have kind of a lot of the different valuations here. And they did a very, very extensive job of explaining how Bitcoin mining is in the slideshow. I cut a lot of those out. I might be doing another video just using those slides to teach you more about Bitcoin. It's about a $2 billion deal uh, it's with a valuation of about $2.6 billion coming in. Um, they, they'll be have we'll have cypher rolling over about two billion of the dollars 501 million will be going to the balance sheet aka how they'll be buying all these bitcoin mining machines uh, Bitfury will also be giving an equipment discount of 50 million because of course they're selling it to themselves so they're going to undercut everyone else so i mean why wouldn't you do that that's brilliant and they have a breakdown of how the kind of the evaluation went down here and it's, it's cool this is again the breakdown of how these shares will be broken up i think this is a pretty decent deal and there's a cypher investment lock of up to six months so that's also great as well. So this is how Bit uh, Fury will be expanding. First, they'll be rolling out one site in Ohio and three sites in Texas, which will be good. Um, they'll expand really quickly, and then eventually, by in 2023, they'll work on all the other sites, which accounts for the other 300 watts of mega power that they will have. And so if we look at them versus all the other Bitcoin mining companies that are in the market, um, the dark. Curb blue is the existing capacity again. Uh, Cypher is new; they don't have an existing capacity yet, um, so they don't have anything there. Um, their 2022 build out is a lot bigger, um, and of course, you've got the planned expansion for the other Bitcoin mining companies. But again, long term, they're mounting to and predicting they will have about a 40 exahash Bitcoin mining rate, which is huge. Mar is expected to have about a 10 uh, exahash mining rate by the end of this year, 2021. So we'll see again. This is a long time. These folks rolled out till 2025. Mara could also be doing the same thing. Argo could do the same thing. We'll have to definitely keep an eye on it. But as of right now, based on these estimates and the information we have, by 2025, again, is because we're lacking information on the other Bitcoin mining companies and their plans to expand. We'll definitely see how it goes. But these folks are on track to become very, very big 
and there'll be onshore Bitcoin mining companies here in North America. And they're, again, they're going to be doing a lot to be able to keep their operations going. So this is the slide comparing the kind of the cost of electricity. The undercut Mara by $1 or one cent. If you want to look at it, this is again at a megawatt per hour that was at a kilowatt. So it's again, it's a little bit of math there. But they, they're doing really good. They're, uh, this helps them kind of minimize their costs a lot. Um, their technology for Bitfury, uh, they work on high-performance chips. Their servers will be proven and demand-driven. And they're going to be doing an immersion cooling system for, again, to be able to kind of have a more greener approach to mining their Bitcoin. So they've got about seven generations of chips. The current one in the market is called Gibson. The new one that's coming out is Nevin from Bitfury. That Cypher Mining will have preferred rights to getting this Nevin chip, which will be rolling out in um, March of 2021. And there'll be, it'll be kind of the tape out and the mass production will start in Q3 of 2021. That's why by the end of 2021, these folks will be able to start mining because they'll have all these chips. So if we take a look at this is kind of their expected rollout. Again, this is starts ends here, starts back up here. This is how they ex plan to expand out. So right now, again, they have nothing in terms of uh, Bitcoin mining capacity, but towards the end of 2021 Q4, they will start building out and kind of getting to that 2x hash rate and kind of quickly expanding and getting bigger so they get up to that almost 40 number here in 2025 at the end. Um, one thing that they did was they kind of, I was it had the pleasure of being able to listen to the investor call. Um, they accounted for Bitcoin fluctuating in value. So they believe that a lot of these companies, smaller companies, won't be able to mine Bitcoin if it crashes due to the cost. They'll have to turn off their machines. But these folks said that they can keep their machines going no matter what because of their costs. So they'll be able to, as, as Bitcoin's price fluctuates, they'll be able to adjust for that and they'll be able to keep going no matter what. And that will just give them a higher percentage of the global hash rate as they keep going. So they believe that they'll be in good shape no matter what. Hence why they accounted for Bitcoin between 25K and 100K. So they have all those models kind of set up for them. So you can see 12 to 12 point, 25 to 12.5, flat 25K, 25 to 50K where we are kind of now, and 25K to 100K. So they kind of broke down that a lot and they did a lot of good work there. One thing that they took into account that a lot of Bitcoin mining companies don't really talk about, it's called the halvening. The halvening will occur until 2140 when Bitcoin's outstanding will reach the maximum of 21 million Bitcoins mined. So what happens is um, this will make the number of blocks that you mine, it'll take twice the amount of power and energy and of course money to mine Bitcoins at that rate. So when the halvening happens, the value of Bitcoin will go up and you will, you've seen it happen here in 2013, um, late 2016, and it's projected to happen it happened again in 2020 in March, and then you'll see it happen again sometime later on in the future. We see that coming down the pike as well. So they also broke down the cost and illustrated how they will be mining Bitcoin. So again, they'll be projected to be mining over 21K Bitcoin by 2025. Um, they'll be deploying their megawatt power of how that will be used versus their hash rate. Their initial gross margins are very good as well. They're starting with 66% and going up to 78%. And they have their uh, their average total cost per Bitcoin up top. And they also have their average variable cost of Bitcoin, which also is, of course, affected by how their Bitcoin mining operation moves due to the value and price of Bitcoin. Taking a look at their revenue and gross profits, um, their revenue is in the dark blue. In the gray, you've got the gross profit. And up top, you've got the gross margin. It looks like they're, they've got pretty good, decent margins. Again, we saw it much more uh, simplified in the other slide, but you can see a direct comparison here. This is their illustrated EBITDA. They believe that they'll be EBITDA positive in 2022. Uh, 2021, they'll be in the negatives, but that's okay. They're a starting company. You got to give them some time. That's how these companies work. Then you have their FCF conversion up top as well. So financial highlights, they'll be able to scale operations to 745 megawatts and mine 21,000 plus Bitcoins by 2025. They'll be EBITDA and cash flow positive by Q4 of 2021 and Q1 of 2022 estimated. Uh, respectively, and they expect to have a 71% EBITDA margin and 58% FCF conversion by 2023 estimated. Their business model is resilient and has taken into account, of course, the downside production against Bitcoin drops, the happening, and a lot of other stuff. And they've got a lean operating model with low management overhead. So folks, stock of the day, GWAC Walk. Uh, merging with the first Bitcoin mining spec, which is exciting. I've been waiting for a Bitcoin spec for a long time. I have a position, I took a position on this on the day that it was announced, and I plan to add more to my position for Guac as well because I like I like this SPAC a lot, but I'll be looking to catch it more closer to NAV. Since it is a low float SPAC, I expect it to fluctuate as well, but I think that 
when this spat gets found, especially as we get closer to when they start ramping up their operations and getting more powerful, they can attract a lot of big name investors, especially if they go into the green space for Bitcoin mining. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Hit the like button if you haven't. The goal is 15 likes. Subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of videos. Some of them are time sensitive. If you have any questions, the comment section is available to you. Or you can ask me on Twitter at Ryan Rosby. I need links in the description below. Hit the follow while you're at it. Also, you can join our trading community, patreon.com slash trading together. That's linked in the description below as well. Also, if you'd like, Weeble is giving away two free stocks. If you sign up and deposit $100, you'll get two free stocks. The link for that is also in the description. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please remember, buy the fear, sell the phone, not a financial advisor. Bye-bye.